Hey guys, it's your girl Carrie Isms, aka Toronto's favorite Brooklyn girl, and I'm back with a new video. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial, actually a dream of mine, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, to do a full face of all Fenty products. A full face. A complete face. A whole face. All Fenty products. So, let's go. Hey guys, so we're gonna get right into this makeup tutorial. We're gonna start off with the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer, and I'm using that to prep my face for the makeup look that I've decided to do for you guys today. And I like to go in with little dots and just put it all over my face to evenly distribute it across my face so I can rub it in my face and my neck and just make sure that I get all the product all over for a good, even distribution. And then next, I go in with the Brow NDP pencil the brow pencil and I like to use this pencil to fill in my eyebrows and it's very thin to the point where like you, it's very precise so you just fill it in where you need to and then you're good to go and then I go in with the concealer in the shade 370 and just use that to just make my eyebrows a little bit more precise just like a nice little precise eyebrow and then next I'm going in with the concealer the instant retouch concealer in the shade 440 and I use that shade as a corrector just to make sure that my complexion is as even as possible for this look. And then I go back in with my highlighter concealer in the shade 270 and make sure that you use a little bit of this. So I swipe it a bit before putting it on my face. And then I go in with the sponge to just to make sure that all the crooks and crannies and all the uneven parts of my face are concealed so I can have an even look. So now I'm using the matte foundation and I'm going back and forth between the shades 380, 390 and that's my summer shade 410. Don't really know what shade to use, depends on the day. So for today, I will be using the shade 380 plus 390. So using a pump of 380 and using a pump of 390 and just swirling it around with my favorite foundation brush. Didn't want to waste any of it so I just tapped it on with my brush and then using the rest is putting dots all over my face. I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to flip you guys off. I just happened to be using my middle finger at the time. Again, for even distribution, just putting little dots all over my face just to make sure that I get the product in all the areas that I need to get it in. And then I use my brush just to brush it in, just to make sure that I get it all over my face and I don't miss any spots. So when I first tried Fenty Beauty, when I first tried their foundation, I was a bit skeptical because when I when I put it on, it was flat. But I'm still learning a whole lot about makeup. So I'm learning that you can build on the foundation with highlighter, with bronzer, with contouring. There's so many different ways to do it. So if this is looking flat to you guys, do not fear, don't be afraid. There's so many ways for you to build on this look. So just wanted to put that out there. And yeah, just brush it in, making sure that I get it right in the places that I want to. And then next I go in with my setting powder using nutmeg for all over my face and using honey for underneath my eyes. And that was a pretty good um, suggestion. I, I found that out when going to Sephora just how to, to do that. So just put a little bit in your tin, use your makeup sponge to dip it and then put it on your hand again and then gently press it in because I've been doing baking because I didn't know that the kids don't bake anymore. My, I noticed that my eyes were a little dry so I've been using this new method to add the setting powder to my face and I am very, very pleased. So I do this method all over my face and underneath my eye and then I use my contour brush just to uh, brush off any of the excess. And now for my eyes, I'm going in with the color Come and Get It and I'm using that color as a base color. I usually go with a white color or a beige color, but this was the closest that I wanted, the closest color that I wanted to use. I wanted to use Moroccan Ice, but Moroccan Ice was a bit too shimmery for me. So I decided to use Come and Get It as my base color. And I use that as a color just to make sure that my eyes really pop with what other, whatever color that I'm trying to use. Now I'm going in with the color Casablanca and I'm using my all over shadow brush. Originally I wanted that to be the color for my eyes, but it didn't, it wasn't pigmented enough for me. It didn't 
I didn't use enough of it. So I was just, I was like, okay, we'll just figure it out as we go. So I'm just using that color. And then next I go in with Spice Trip, which I like as a crease color. And I'm using my crease brush there to just put it right where my socket begins and just go back and forth. I'm not always too precise when I'm using my crease, um, when I'm putting on my crease color because I can always go in with my blending brush and clean it up. So I just slap on some grease color and then I go in with my blending brush and then I and I fix it and I fix it up or I clean it up a little bit. So I'm doing that for both eyes. And then the color I decided to use was Marrakesh, my primary color. I wanted to go with the halo effect. So I decided to put it in the middle of my lid and just move my eyebrow, eye, eyeshadow brush up and down, up and down, all around, up and down, <laughs> just for that halo effect. And then now I'm going in with Casablanca again. My favorite thing to do is just to accent my, my eyes a little bit. So I go in for the inner corner and I use that, uh, usually a gold or a silver color and do that for my eyes. And then next I'm using the Fly Liner Long Wear Eyeliner and then going in with the shade 450 for my concealer to contour my face. At first I was like, maybe I should have gone a little darker with the concealer, but I'm glad that I didn't because my face is already really angular, so I don't really need it to be that heavily contoured. So just put it at the different areas that I wanted to put it at and then use my contour brush to blend it out because blending is very, very important. So I'm just doing that, just making sure I'm getting all my blending work done so I don't have to worry about any weird lines anywhere. There have been, there have been times where there have been weird lines. Next, I like to use concealer. I like to set my concealer with the matchstick cinnamon and then go in with the Kilowatt Highlighter Duo in the color Hustler Baby and then use my fan brush just to brush it on and then I use my finger to brush it in a little bit just to make it look a bit more natural. And then I can go back in and then put as much or as little as I want to build on it, but that's what I do now for the bronzer. Can we talk about bronzer? I've been, I've been stalling on bronzer for quite a while. It's my first time using it and I love it. I'm using Sunstalker in the shade Mocha Mommy. And I use this as my contour now, or just to warm up my face is one, one of my favorite things to do. Next is the blush. I'm using the Kilowatt Highlighter Duo palette in the color Ginger Binge. And then now using my fly pencil long wear. I'm using the eyeliner as a lip liner because there was there's no lip liner yet. So I decided to do that, to line my lips with that. And then now I'm using lip paint in the shade uncensored my favorite lip paint color I'm a very much a red lip girl so I'm using that for my lip color and just you know just sprucing it up a little bit giving a little pop and now for the lashes Fenty doesn't have any lashes but Fenty did come out with a new mascara so I decided to use LA Colors Dramatic Lash the angelic lash along with the mascara So this is the final look. I really am in love with this look because it's very simple. Um, I don't really do much with my face. I just try to make my face look deep and then I'm out the door and ready to go. Well, first I'm still learning how to do a lot of like eyeshadows and all that stuff, but this is my favorite look, my favorite signature look to do. So I'm really excited I can do it with all Fenty products, all Fenty, so that was dope. So yeah, I'm so hyped right now. <laughs> it looks, it looks really, <laughs> it looks really good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you like this look, make sure you go to the bottom. Tell me what your favorite part of this tutorial was and also what your favorite product is. What's your favorite Fenty product right now? And make sure you hit the like button so you can see more videos like this. You can subscribe to me here on YouTube. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Thank you to everybody who 
decided to follow me on Instagram, we just made it to 10,000. So thank you to every single one of you who are supporting. If you are watching this for the first time, make sure you head over to my Instagram, head over to my Twitter, my Facebook. Everything will be under Carryisms. This has been your Carryisms coming to you live, reminding you to stay tuned and to stay true. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.